Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you an easy way to make a half tone. I've never used them, but I've seen a lot of people make them on the internet. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a rectangle, and I'm going to take a oval, a circle, not an oval, a, a, an ellipse, as Corel would call it. I call it circles. Then we're going to make a copy of that and move it to the top. Make a copy of that one and move it to the top. Now I'm going to take this one. I'm going to reduce it inside with my ratio locked. That way it'll be even. I'm reducing it by 50%. Now I can select these two and go up and I'm going to blend them 15 times. I can select these and hit apply and I'm blending them 15 times. Now with I really need to take this and go object, break the blend apart, go object and group, go object and break blend apart, because the blend can really mess you up. Object and group. And then what I can do is I can hold down the shift and select the other one so I'm not selecting my square. And I'm gonna do the 15 again. But I've kind of realized I made my bottom circles too big. So I'm going to have to go back. I'm sorry about that. Um, what we could do is reduce them. Let's reduce these by 75%. Maybe have to do them more, but I think this will fit. Because I just noticed when I blended them, they were too close together, and that still might be too close. But I'm going to go up here and do the same thing, object break, blend apart. Object break blend apart, which is control K. Group this together, which is control G. Group this together, which is control G. Then holding down the shift key and you can select this. And I'm going to do the 15 again. I still might be a little bit big on the other ones, but I'm fine. I'm going to nudge my box out of the way. And I am going to group these together, control G. And then I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of them. I need some sort of guideline, so I'm going to take a two-point line and go from the center of that to that, center to that to that. Now I can take one of those copies and move it to the center of that, and I'm not there yet. If I get to the center, it should snap to the center, and that's what you have. Now I can get rid of my guidelines or my indexing line. And I'm going to fill it all in with black. So you get that effect of a half tone. Uh, if I had it to do over, I would probably make the a um, little bit difference in size. You know, make these even smaller. Uh, but you get the idea because my first, well, and then when you reduce it in size, it's going to look um, more like a half tone look because your thing's going to be closer together. And you can do that with any shape. You can do it with stars or triangles or uh, squares at an angle. You could make it out of a diamond. And uh, anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.